hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about how to do text to image generation first of all you have to install the package using this command we have used the glide text to image generation glide stands for guided language to image diffusion for generation and editing it is a diffusion model and it is a 3.5 billion parameter text to image generation model it has filtered data set and released the code and weights after installing it install the required libraries Then run this command to check whether you are using GPU or CPU. Then create a base model. Here FP16 stands for half precision floating point format which uses 16 bits and FP16 gives less precision than FP32. It also use less memory to store the weights and and the training is faster by using FP16 it speed up the calculation of neural networks here as you can see it is downloading model dot load state dictionary it is used to load the saved model and model dot evaluation will notify all the layers that we are in our eval mode which means that batch normalization or dropout layers will work in evaluation mode instead of the training mode we have used 100 diffusion steps Diffusion models are generative models that are flexible enough to learn any arbitrarily complex data distribution. Then we will create unsampler model. Here we have used 27 diffusion steps. numeral function returns total number of elements in the input After loading it, then you have to create the clip model. Clip stands for contrastive language image pre-training. It builds on the zero shot transfer, natural language supervision and multimodal learning. Now create the clip, clip model. It consists of sub models which is called image encoder and the text encoder the text encoder embed the text into mathematical space and image encoder embed the images into mathematical space then we'll create the function to show the images after that we will give any text which we will want to convert into the image for example here I have given the sunflower on the table for example I want to show the sunflower here we have used the token
tokenizer is used for preparing the inputs for the model as you can see sunflower images has shown here then we have used um, up sample layer um, up sample layer is that layer which has no weights and which double the dimensions of input and it can be used in generative model after running this command as you can see it has printed the sunflower images you can type any another text also for example chair and table then run this command as you can see it has given the image of chair you can write another thing also for example waterfall these are designed to generate photorealistic images using the text captions here as we have used prompts as you can see the waterfall images has shown clip mode we have used here clip model and the second one is also there classifier free guidance clip model pre-trains an image encoder and a text encoder to predict which images were paired with which text in the data set after that we'll use this behavior to turn clip into a zero shot classifier thank you